Welcome back to episode 6 of Backpacking in Mexico. Today's Mexico episode is what you've all been waiting for, and this is my backpacking experience in Oaxaca. Okay, so let me give you a rundown on Oaxaca. If you don't know anything about Oaxaca, it's a state in Mexico, and this state is deep down in the south. And if you know anything about Mexico, is down in the south, that's when the culture of Mexico really hits you in the face. Like, you look everywhere and there's culture. I loved it. I love getting a taste of it. Since I stepped foot in Mexico City, people were telling me that I needed to go to the south. So this was my perfect moment. You're watching a good video is what you're up to. So if you haven't seen episode 5, I recommend you go watch that. Because at the end I talk about my experience on my flight from Guadalajara to Oaxaca. And how I was taken back and I thought the plane was going down. Really, really interesting. Go watch that. Link is in the bottom of the video in the description. My first moments in Oaxaca were pretty interesting. I got into the main central area and I didn't really know what to do, but I knew that I had a skateboard in my backpack from Guadalajara and I wanted to build it. So I look up on Google, I find a skate shop and I go searching for it. Turns out that skate shop is not in existence, so I was asking around and around and around. Eventually somebody pointed me to a new skate shop. After four hours of searching, I found it. <laughs> I was pretty over life right there. I put in the work, I found it. I got there, made some friends with the local homies because they were just all chilling and I was sitting on my skate deck and started bullshitting with them. I was bullshitting with them and then at the end they're like, hey man, you wanna go skate with us at the park? Fuck yeah! I wanna go skate? So they take me and we, we literally are skating the street. I wish I had my camera. At this point my camera's dead. And I was just so shell-shocked that I didn't want to really bring my camera at this moment. I'm just living it. We're carving down the street. I write about it in my blog. Link is in the description below for that too. It's amazing. It's amazing. After that, I begin to explore the city and its culture. This is literally the best part of my Mexico trip in a nutshell. I started walking the streets. I saw bakeries. And if you know anything about Latin America, bakeries are vida you know their life pastries are everything so seeing that and i was always told about it and going into those like pastry shops amazing amazing you need to go you need to go after that i was walking around just just walking down the street and there was a cultural festival it was really strange because there was a guy holding a big globe and then there was people who were in this giant confetti costume. So this cultural festival, really cool, really crazy. People dressed up in costume. I didn't know what I was in. Two, there was giant lines of people, lots of people cheering, people dancing. Fucking Oaxaca. Fucking Oaxaca. As I continued my adventures downtown, I was looking for mustache wax. And I've been looking for mustache wax since Mexico City. I didn't have like a trimmer for my mustache and I didn't want to shave my face and look like a 10 year old. So this thing was just getting longer and longer. Found this wax shop and I started twisting my ends. Like that's when I fully discovered I could. And now you see what it is, baby. You see what it is, it's handsome. It's handsome AF. I ain't being pompous, I'm telling the truth. I also was walking around and I went to the cathedrals. Now there's a lot of churches in Oaxaca. It's really cool because it's a cultural thing. So there's, there's street performers, there's people selling things. And I kind of just skated there and plopped myself down and watched this guy perform. It was an amazing act. And at this moment of watching this man speak in Spanish, I realized I could, I could understand him. I could understand this guy speaking Spanish. I wish I would have filmed it, but he starts like teasing me a little bit because he sees I'm an extranjero, uh, a gringo, a guaro, whatever you want to say, a white dude. He, he sees that I'm a foreigner and he starts talking some shit. And I was talking shit back to him in Spanish. It was an amazing time. Street performers are the shit. So hyped that that happened. And of course, exploring, if you are ever explore, you're gonna get lost. So I might as well talk about getting lost. <sighs> Traveling, man. The most easy of things in a foreign country are so hard. There was one day where it's like, okay, I just want food. I just want food, that's all I want. So simple, but I needed to take a bus, 13 blocks. And I realized something, 13 blocks is a long time to walk if all you're gonna do is walk. 
I learned that quick in Mexico City. So, 13 blocks, let's get a bus, let's go. I took this bus, I ended up taking the wrong one. God damn it. As time has it, I eventually find a, the right bus, and I get to this restaurant, and I get my day going. I also realized during this moment that Skittles are my comfort food. They're like untouched, and so they really do taste like the Skittles I've always had in America, or like growing up and whatnot. So that's why when I'm feeling bad, or when I just want to have something good to eat, I go for Skittles. That sound weird, but it's the truth. In Oaxaca, I got homesick a little bit. And that was like my food because they were untouched and I'd eat them all the time. Amazing. I, I loved them. I'd stack up on those Skittles. So as I told you before about my friends I made at the skate shop, I continued to skateboard and I continued to skate with these people. They would take me around. We hit like a, a six set. We, um, we went up this radio tower. This radio tower, radio tower hill. So yeah, we went up this radio tower hill. It was really crazy. They were just taking me around and I was just there for the ride as I usually am in these foreign countries. That's all you can be is for the ride. So they take me up this hill and then they're like, yeah, let's go down it now. <laughs> you, you guys wanna go down this hill? This big hill? It's a, it was a big freaking hill. We went down, fun, fun as frick. I mean, I mean you've gotta be PG, fun. It was so much fun, we went fast, we had a great time, I had some laughs, did some tricks, got some ladies, no I didn't get any ladies, but I scratched that, had a fun time. Now the next thing I did was tourism. Tourism is that, that iffy thing. I go to places not for the touristy aspect, I go for places for the culture. And I think that's what people need to do, if you're going to travel to a foreign country please go for the culture. It's cool to see things, but it's also cool to meet the people. The entire time I was kicking with, with uh, the people, the culture, and then I was like, okay, you know, I'll give tourism a shot, let's go. So I got on this bus because it was a great price and it was gonna take me to all the tourist destinations in Oaxaca, the central part of Oaxaca. I get in there and our first location is the Arbol del Tule. And this Arbol del Tule is a gigantic tree. Like it would give Paul Bunyan a hard time. It's that big. And next to it, there's like a giant cathedral. It was something to see, I'm glad I saw it. And then um, just walked around. Really, really cool experience. You can't touch it. And if you touch it, you're gonna get in trouble. A giant ass tree and a freaking church. I could have spent that 10 pesos on a beer. That's half a beer right there, baby. I only 10 more pesos more and I would have had a cerveza in my hands. Then I saw the damn and over there tree that I could cut down back in North Dakota. I saw that church that did the same in North Dakota too. Moving on past that, the next location was to view Oaxaca's traditional rugs. So we went to a nearby town outside of Oaxaca called Teotitlan del Valle. And this place was known for having traditional rugs, like traditional rugs galore. It was a cool experience, we got off the bus and we immediately went to where they made the rugs, like their workshop, and we saw how they use traditional seeds, traditional plants to dye the fabric, to dye the wool, and then they use the wool through a traditional machine to make it into the rug. Really, really cool. So from there we got back into the bus and we went to Mitlan. And Mitlan is a city near Oaxaca, I believe, a town city, and it has ruins. And these ruins are very, very old. They belong to the tribe Zapotec. Zapotec, I don't know anything about. I just know about Aztec and Mayan. Zapotec, they're all about squares. That's that's all you really need to know. Anything linear, they're into. So it was cool to see that architecture because it's different than anything I've seen ever in Mexico. This tribe had it going on. Very unique, it's a must see. God, there's so many fucking places I went on this. The next one is the fossilized waterfall. So the name of this fossilized waterfall is Pierdela. Pierdela. The name of this fossilized waterfall is Nierve el Agua. Nierve el Agua. Name is Nierve el Agua. And this place was honestly stunning. Like, words cannot describe this. We got off the bus and started walking down this hill. 
And then that's when I saw the fossilized waterfall. I've never seen something like that. The reason this place is fossilized is because the water underneath this, uh, it's a natural spring. It's full of uh, calcium carbonate and other minerals. So what happens is it comes up and then as the water runs down the hill, it deposits its like minerals into the land and then it falls down. And that's how it's been fossilized over time. And I actually went towards the edge of the waterfall because there's no fences and I wanted to get the best clip for you guys and I almost died for you. I was by the edge and there's no fence like I said and I slipped. I slipped and if I didn't snowboard or skateboard and my balance wasn't as good as it is I would have fucking went down this 90 yard drop into this valley. Like honest to god I slipped and I, I caught myself. It was one of those slips where your foot goes out and your other one catches you. There were people that were lined up next to the edge of the waterfall who were just sitting in the water and they saw me almost eat shit. And they're looking at me like, cause I looked around I was like, did anyone see that? Did anyone see that? I almost fucking died. Sorry mom, I almost died. I'm glad you weren't there. Our next stop was to go to a mezcal traditional factory. Now, pardon my pronunciation of mezcal, but mezcal in itself is a traditional drink and it's very similar to tequila. The process is just different. Tequila is more refined with machines and heavy hardware going back and forth and um, a different, different plant. And mezcal is more traditional with horses that walk around and grind things up. Really interesting. They actually end up tasting a lot different because different plants and different processes. I had a few sample cups here but I kept it short. I enjoyed seeing this traditional route and then I called that one good. As time continued the tourism eventually ended. I got on a bus and I went to my next destination which my next destination is Puerto Escondido which is about six hours away from Oaxaca, up through the mountains, the curvy, windy, topsy-turvy mountains to a beach paradise. You don't want to miss this next video because honestly, it's a short one, it's a good one, short and sweet. I didn't do a whole lot, but I kicked it old school and I just enjoyed the beach before I had to leave Mexico. I got a few more episodes after this. I got Puerto Escondido, and then Chiapas and Cancun. So don't miss them. Literally, I'm glad you guys are watching this. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It goes a long way and I'm glad you guys can uh, continue watching it. So hit the bell, hit the subscribe, do what you do and keep watching because Mexico is the fucking place to go. I'm telling you, if you want to go to Mexico, do it and please follow my videos. There you go, message for the day. Kick ass, bro. Bob Saget!